Hey everyone, today we're going to be tearing down the Samsung Galaxy S6 Active. Uh, this one's very similar to the Galaxy S5. Um, it's front loaded, so we're going to have to heat up the front and remove the front assembly before we can get into anything. Uh, we're going to be using regular Phillips screwdriver, uh, tweezer, black plastic tool, metal spudger, and iSysimo and some guitar picks to get underneath the uh, glass assembly here. So let's get started here. So we'll start by heating it up. little bit easier if you start prying from the bottom so just get the ISSMO underneath as much as you can Once all of the adhesive is removed, you'll have a connector on the inside here. Now this one's a bit different from the S5 in that the connector, the connector is actually covered by a plastic, uh, it's got a plastic cover on it. So you can just use something sharp, a little crease on the right side. Just allow you to pop it right up. Then you can undo the connection, the LCA connection, and the plastic tool. This is your assembly here. Now, as you can see, unlike some of the other Samsung phones, this has the actual navigation uh, buttons built into the assembly. This will have to be transferred, um, especially if the new front assembly doesn't come with these. So remember to heat this up and transfer it when you're doing a screen repair. Now we can start removing all of these frame screws. Uh, again, these are all Phillips. Um, you don't really have to worry about them because they're, they are all the same size, but I usually like to take them off in the order that I put them back in. Thank you. 
after you've removed all the screws, keep in mind that you need to remove the SIM tray. And now, in order to get the frame separated from, uh, from this back housing portion, what you need to do is you need to put a little bit of pressure on the phone. You'll hear the clips start undoing themselves. This frame with the battery comes right up. Now at this point, you've got your board and your bottom dock here with your bottom navigational buttons. You can start removing the connections here in order to get the board separated from the frame. You want to try and undo as many connections as possible in order to get the screen, in order to get the, uh, the motherboard off. And once you're at this level, once you've removed everything, you can take a plastic tool and just kind of twist it. And I'll pry the board up on one side. You want to do the same thing on the bottom here. Entire board comes up, and then the bottom dock connector. Once you once you deroute these cables here, it also just comes right up. Now, as far as replacing any components on here, um, it seems a little bit difficult to do. So, what I would recommend uh, would be. If you need to replace anything on here, rather than try to remove them individually, um, you'll be able to order this entire uh, back housing assembly with all of these components already built into it. So just kind of save yourself some time and potentially some headaches in order to just to probably get this repair done a little bit quicker and a little bit more efficiently. So now we'll go and do everything uh, in reverse. We'll put everything back together. Again, starting with the dot connector. Just seat it in place first. Reroute these antenna. I want to replace the board. You'll feel it click in and you'll know that that's when it's seated properly. Sure that all of these connections go back on. We'll replace the battery with the metal midframe. Top first. And we'll make sure that everything clicks in so that the new glass sits on there flush, reconnect the battery, reinsert the SIM tray, and 
will reverse the steps as far as the uh, screws go. Once the screws are in, we can replace the front assembly. And again, the small black cover. And your assembly will be a lot better than this. There it goes, Galaxy S6 active.